So for today's video, this 22 year old lady is going viral on all social media platforms for having a kid with a deadbeat who already has six kids and left her a single mom. Just watch the video. All right, part two on how I became a single mom at 22, or no, yeah. Yeah, I was 22, oh my God, so yeah. Um, so you guys know how he left, he went back to Georgia, he moved in with his ex-girlfriend, whatever. But let's backtrack to the day that he left. And I'm going to make her a bottle while we're doing this because she's about to go to sleep. Say I'm about to go to sleep because it's 7.30 and that's my bedtime. But yeah, so um, he left. Uh, he left all, all his shit. Like I said, he left his whole life behind. His clothes, his shoes. He left his kid. He left me. Um, I thought we were like going to get married or whatever. But I think that when I got like pregnant, I became unattractive to him. Um, and then I ended up like having to take some time off towards the end of my pregnancy. Um, so I, like, wasn't making any money or anything, so I was, like, useless to him at that point, I guess. I don't really know. Um, and then I had an emergency C-section, so when I had that emergency C-section, I know he didn't like my body. So hence why I feel like he was depressed, because I just went from being, like, happy, silly, little old me to, I don't know, I was just, like, so sad and depressed. But I was, like, getting there, I was, like, slowly, like, getting my life back together and back on track um, and coming out of postpartum. So I was a month, well, I was a month postpartum and she was 30 days old when he decided to leave. He literally just basically got on the phone with his mom and she was just telling him like, I think you're still hung up on your ex. I think this is why you and Morgan won't work out and da 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 da. And he literally, the day he left, he would not look at me, you guys. Like I, I this is so embarrassing to say, but I dropped to my knees begging him to stay because I was so scared. I had only been a mom for 30 days. I was straight out of a C-section, so I couldn't even, like, move around yet. It was so bad. Um, yeah, so he just left. Like, and I remember I literally, I probably called him, like, 80 times before he hit Ohio, okay? Um, yeah, I think he was, like, blocking me, like, most of the times. So I just had no contact with him for most of the drive there, which really sucked because I was, like, sitting in my room, like, literally like mm, should i die now but no no no, that's not the answer that's not the answer don't do that um yeah so i i stayed in my room for like three weeks i lost a lot of weight he sent me flowers on my birthday which is kind of like an asshole thing to me um because he literally moved in with his ex on the same day that he sent me flowers first of all let's get one thing out of the way whoever this man is he's a clown and any man who brings a child into this world and purposely don't take care of their kids is also a clown too. Having a kid is a great privilege, but it's also one hell of a responsibility to take care of the child. So if you know you can't take care of another human being, please don't bring one into the world. Because the one who always end up being hurt is the innocent child. That's why it would be advisable for you not to lay down and have unprotected sex with a man you have not properly vetted. But that's just my opinion. As soon as this video went viral, a lot of people took to social media to share their thoughts. Let's take a look at some of the things that people had to say. This person said, sad part is y'all calling the guy a deadbeat, but not the girl who chose to have baby number six by a notorious nada. She's worse than him because she forced her child to have an ancient dad. This person also tweeted, women always know when a man gay, broke, a liar, and a narcissist, but for some reason, they never know he's a deadbeat. Somebody is lying. Another person said, can't hold someone to higher standard than you hold for yourself. If someone has six kids before you, decision making and accountability skills lacking from both parties, not just the one being villainized. This person also said, saying you didn't know your baby daddy had six other kids before you doesn't sit right with me. Either you open your legs for any man without properly vetting him or you are lying cause how the F six kids go under the radar especially from the gender that swears their intuition is godly. And lastly, this person said they asked how she met dude and she said he was a dope boy in an apartment complex who took her to hang out in the hood. And after watching him fight his roommates, he moved in with her. This woman is not a victim. These are simply consequences of her actions. So yeah, let me know what you th also think in the comments down below.